This video shows how to verify the block design of a multiplier IP using Xilinx Vivado tool. For verification, create the block design, change the name or keep as it is, click OK. To add the IP core of a multiplier, you can press this add IP or here or you can right click and click on this. Search here for the multiplier. Select this multiplier by double clicking on it. You can double click on this IP core to change certain parameters like the data type. You can click this. I want to have unsigned for A and B. That is, this is P indicates it's a product A and B multiplicand and multiplier. The widths are 4 bit. You can design any width size of a multiplier. It could be 8, 32, 16 depending on the application. And from this I want to have only A and B and partial product. To eliminate this clock from the design, you can choose the pipelining and control signals as zeros. Even though the multiplier is a parallel multiplier, I am using just basic form without the clock. Click on OK. A multiplier with multiplicand and Partial products. Provide the inputs. Click on this add IP. Click on constant or search for constant. This is for verification without writing a test bench. Double click on this constant. This width of the A, operand A is 4 bit and the value of this, a constant value, I am providing the constant value as 4. A value is 4 bit which is having a value of 4. Similarly, I want one more constant. For B. Its width is again 4, but now I am changing the value as constant value to 7. Click OK. That means I am multiplying 4 with 7. And this is the partial product. So make the required connections. And this is the product which we want to observe as the output make it as external. So 4 multiplied by 7 will give me the product as 1C. Once the design is completed, go to the sources tab, select the design sources or block design, convert this into Verilog by selecting this option. Select this right click create hdl wrapper click ok it will convert the block design into dot v format
see that it is converted and it has only one output. No other input signals are there for the design. Once that is done, go to the run simulation option here. Run behavioral simulation. After simulation, we directly get the products in the waveform. See that the product result is 1C. Selecting this, right click, change the radix to binary, you will have the 8 partial products. This is one way of verifying. There is also another method. Go to the sources, back to the design. Let me delete this two constants and make this as external. A as the external and B also as external. This time, I want to have or test this multiplier by providing the user-defined inputs and get the product out of it. Once the pins are assigned, go back to the design, right-click, create the HDL wrapper, click OK. It is converted. This time you can observe that or the design is having the outputs. Click on run simulation. We have the A, B and partial products in the waveform window. Select this A signal, right click and click on force constant. And I want to give the value as binary. The force value of 4 is 0, 1. 0, 0. That means it is a 4. Directly you can give it the value as 4 also for 10 nanoseconds. Click OK or you can assign the value. Click OK. Let me have it as hexadecimal and change this value to 7. 7, 10 nanoseconds, click OK. Then run for 50 nanoseconds. See that 4 multiplied by 7 will give me the partial product or the result as 1C. Select this and change it to binary. This is the value of the multiplier. In this way, you can verify the multiplier design in both ways.